The fourth category doesn't even need to be on the passport bro chart. We have marriage minded bros, long term relationship bros and dating bros. I'm going to explain this right now. Today we're going to be discussing the passport bros because some people can't distinguish sex tourists from the passport bros. Now initially I created the passport bro chart with four categories. I had to drop one of the categories. Why? Because the fourth category doesn't even need to be on the passport bro chart. We have marriage minded bros, long term relationship bros and dating bros. I'm going to explain this right now. Okay. First we have the marriage minded bros. These are men who are married to the women from developing countries or other countries. They're married on paper. She has his last name, etc. Long-term relationship bros are men, usually expats who live in that woman's country and either they don't want to get married or if they're in a country like the Philippines, they got to go through an annulment. It's time consuming and expensive. So they're like, nah, you know what? Let's just be living partners and they just live life as though they were married, but they don't have the paperwork to say that they're married. Now, dating bros, these are guys, they have the boyfriend, girlfriend experience. Some of these guys are tourists and some of these guys are expats in other countries. They're just dating women who are more traditional. That's it. You know, that's not their main focus or purpose for being in that country. Usually they're there for business or because they just they live there. Right. They just like, look, I'm a retire over here or they're just there for business. And they just so happen to start dating a woman in that country. Usually these relationships are monogamous. That's it. They're dating bros. The fourth category had to be dropped. I used to call it the red light district bros. Scrap that. There's no such thing as that because that's sex tourism and the passport bros are not sex tourists by the true definition of the word passport bro. Let's look this up. Let, let's, let's check this out right quick. Okay, right now we're at yahoo.com. Why some black women aren't happy with the passport bros movement. A growing group of thousands of black men is preaching to more men on social media platforms that women in other countries are the best source for a traditional woman to settle down with. Now, does that sound like sex tourists? Huh? Or does it sound like men who are in search of long term, healthy relationships and healthy marriages which one all right anyway let me know what you guys think about this because a lot of people are confusing the passport bros with sex tourism and that's not the case here we go we travel to find more traditional women for healthy long-term relationships and healthy marriages that's it bottom line